I'm about to unlock every single trophy on every single Minecraft game ever. Starting off with good old Minecraft on hard. But before we unlock the harder trophies, we have to get through the easier ones first. And so we start by opening our inventory. And I got taking inventory. Now that was just one of 629 total trophies in this video. Here's a montage of the ones that require pretty much little to no effort to get. They're super early on in the game and you get them by doing just the most basic things. And with that, nine of the easiest trophies in the game are done. We're gonna start working on ones that require a little bit more effort, like this one for smelting an iron ingot. This required me to find some iron in a cave somewhere and dig it up. From there, I throw it into a furnace to make an ingot. But it doesn't stop here because I need a full suit of iron armor for another trophy. And that requires requires 24 ingots. I had quite a lot already because I mined a lot in that first initial cave from earlier. Boom, 24 iron. I think when I grab this, I get acquire hardware. And with this iron, I can make a full set of iron armor, which is gonna be very useful because I've been getting attacked at night by skeletons and they're so annoying. So, boom, boom. And now we throw it on the character. Iron Man, nice. Next up was to breed two cows with wheat. I first had to build a fence to trap them in. And with the wheat, I herd them over to the enclosure. And from there, it's pretty easy. I need you two to get freaky. Mmm. Go crazy. Ha, ah, they popped out a little one. And we get repopulation. I also had to capture and cook a fish, which was for a trophy, but also for another one where I had to tame an ocelot. All right, come on, fish. We got one. Throw that in the furnace delicious fish and here i am trying to tame an ocelot for that trophy ocelot buddy come here come here boy he keeps running away from me bro i'm about to break something oh my gosh it's ocelot <sighs> we're gonna return to this later as you can see it was very annoying but now it's time to find some diamonds i had a friend in a discord call coaching me telling me where to go and what to do and so i was navigating through this cave trying to survive the onslaught of enemies as i was looking for some diamonds Chill! You get it's gonna it's gonna collapse as you're walking on it. No, it's not, bro. And look, there's, like, there's literally a skeleton behind you. Yeah, I see him, bro. He doesn't see me though. No. You're cooked, bro. I'm sorry, but you're, you're dead, bro. You're gonna die. Bro, you guys don't know I won the Minecraft World Cup. There's a creeper there, bro. Hold on, hold on. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. This is, this is where this is where it happens. This is where it goes down. It goes down. Bro, uh, like he, I told you, I won the World Cup. <gasps> Yes! <laughs> Yo, let's go. Watch this be one block, just a single block. I mean, I, that's all I need for the trophy, anyways. So here we go. Nice. Mine around it. Mine around it. Mine around it. Mine around it. <laughs> mine around it, anyways, just in case. I yeah, there could be there could be diagonal spawns. One singular diamond, absolutely amazing. Because you, you, you're gonna need both a diamond. Uh, a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe and and you're gonna need an enchanting table so you're gonna need a lot more diamonds man and so the search continues to unlock two trophies requiring diamonds one for making an enchantment table and the other for dealing nine hearts of damage in a single hit which i'm not sure is possible without a diamond sword and after about 20 minutes of exploration i found more is that diamonds it is it is why do diamonds only come in ones in this game bruh and about 20 minutes after that this happened <gasps> Yes! Yes! More than one! We finally got more than one! Three! Yes! I hit the jackpot! Nice! With the newly acquired diamonds, I was able to make an enchantment table and get that trophy. Boom, we got Enchanter. This was really important because I would have to use this to upgrade weapons for the inevitable Ender Dragon fight later on in this video. Now, there's also a trophy for making a bookshelf. Librarian. If I surround the enchantment table with a bunch of these, I can get higher quality upgrades on my weapons. Now, remember the trophy for dealing nine hearts of damage in a single hit? Well, I accidentally got that while fighting a spider. I lucked out and found a sharpness five enchantment book. I applied it to the sword and got the trophy easily. Okay, I got overkill. I was not going for that. Three. And we got Archer. Nice. And that was for killing a creeper with arrows. And yeah, we all hate creepers. But blazes might be even worse. But before we take them on to get their blaze rods and a trophy, I have to construct the nether portal, which also gives me a trophy. And so, of course, I needed to mine obsidian to do this. And then I built the portal and lit it up. Nice. Into the nether. Here we go. 
Here in another, there are two things I need to do. Destroy a gas with a fireball and relieve a blaze of its rod. As soon as I came out the portal, I was already being bombarded by fireballs. Oh my gosh, I'm getting attacked. Oh, that dude got murked. And here my friends slash coaches are trying to help me out again. No, you can't, you can't spam click. Spam clicking won't work. I'm literally doing it the right time. Do you not see this, bro? The timing is impeccable. Bro, I'm telling you, it's glitched, bro. It's glitched. No, it's not. You have to be directly in front of it. Where are the guests? Yeah, come fight me. All right, that's perfect. That's perfect. I, I hit no, it. I, to see, I told you. you. I can spam it. Nick, try jumping so you can hit it more that straight because you're like hitting it yeah. like, far up. Cause for come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, this is the one. Bro, I hit that directly. Oh, oh, yes! Return to sender. <laughs> Let's go. And so now I just needed to find another fortress, which is where blazes spawn. And once I do, I can get the trophy for obtaining a blaze rod. I found it. Let's go. Stupid. Got him. Into fire. And so I got the trophy, but I didn't leave the nether just yet. I spent some time farming blaze rods because I would need them to create ender eyes, which would allow me to open up the end portal. And then I can take on the end game dragon, which I've actually never beaten by myself before. Not even on easy difficulty. And keep in mind, I'm playing on hard, so that'll probably be a big challenge later. When I got back from the nether, I immediately made a brewery stand and a splash potion of weakness for a trophy. Splash potion of weakness. Okay, grab these. Local brewery. I went on to throw the potion at a zombie villager and give it a golden apple to cure it. And this gave me another trophy. Oh, okay, it popped immediately. At this point, we've unlocked 36 of 51 trophies, but there's still some hard ones we have to do. But before those, let's try to tame the ocelot again. Yes! Lion tamer. Oh, finally. I also got another trophy for swimming in lava while having the fire resistance effect. You drink a potion and then jump in the lava and you get the trophy. Yep, staying frosty. Now to protect some villagers that I would potentially like to trade with later on, I built an iron golem and got this trophy. Place it right here. And we got the iron golem. Bodyguard, nice. And just when I thought things were going smoothly, tragedy struck. If you hadn't already noticed, this is the PS Vita version of Minecraft. On my device, there wasn't enough space to download the most updated version of the game. And because of that, I couldn't get any online trophies. I was forced to buy a memory card. And when I inserted and booted up Minecraft, I was greeted by this. I scoured the internet looking up ways to overcome this error code, but nothing worked. Which meant I had to restart a new world from scratch. The good news was, I didn't have to get all the trophies again, I just had to gather all supplies and set myself up again. But I lost my diamond sword with a sharpness 5! That's tough. But now since I was able to play online, I could also get the diamonds to you trophy where I have to throw diamonds at another player. So I recruited a subscriber to help me with this trophy. But this might have been one of the hardest trophies in the game. Minecraft on the Vita is like so bad where it doesn't even let you load into games with your friends. Every time one of us tried to join each other's world, this happened. We tried over and over and over, same result. But we still had hope because there's other PvP game modes in this where I think it might be possible. Let's be real, no one's playing these on the PS Vita in 2023, so we just loaded up into a random match and got grouped up together. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Oh, oh, we're in the same game, we're in the same game. Okay, is there a way to mine diamonds? There has to be a way to mine diamonds. We've been trying this for so long. I have to find diamonds. No, there's no diamonds in here. No diamonds in here. No diamonds in there. No diamonds in there. Ah, oh, bro, I can't break the floor. There's literally diamonds right here and I can't do anything about it. Oh, that's tough. I was starting to feel like the Platinum was just not possible because we could not get into each other's games. But then I checked on PSN profiles to see the most recent time someone got the trophy. It was on the same day that I was going for it, so I knew it was possible. This just gave me newfound hope. I started messaging all the recent achievers of the trophy to see how were they able to load in with their friends. No one responded, so I just kept trying to load into his world when this happened. Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm in! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we need to find diamonds as fast as possible. So I immediately went down into a cave and started strip mining away until I struck diamonds. Oh, I found! Oh! 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 Ooh! After collecting them, I met up with my teammate and got this done. Come on! Yes! That took way longer than it should've. 
But since we got that trophy in his world, now I had to go back to mine to finish up more trophies. I found a village, looked inside this house, and there was an item in a chest that I would need for a future trophy. I found a saddle! That would be needed for the when pigs fly trophy later on, where I have to use a saddle to ride a pig, then have the pig get hurt from fall damage while riding it. As I continued exploring, I came across many things that would be useful for later trophies. Oh, look! I think this is where the ender portal is at. When you start to see these, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over here looking for diamonds and I ran into that, okay. I'm gonna mark down this spot on the map and uh, make sure I can come back when it's time to fight the ender dragon. Is that a spawner? It is. Oh, I found a music disc. Give me that, can't lose this. Need that for a trophy. I found the end portal. And of course, there's absolutely no ender eyes in here at all. So I need to put every single one in. That cave was very resourceful with diamonds for me to make a full set of diamond tools and also the things I would need later for trophies. Now I can make a jukebox to play music for that trophy. So I'm gonna place this down and this plays music discs. I've got my music disc right here, just put it in. And I think we get the trophy. Music to my ears, nice. And with the saddle I found in the village earlier, I went for the pigs will fly trophy. Found a pig, all right, gotta place this saddle on top. So boom. And then hop on this the, the pig. We need to make him take fall damage, so. How do I do this? Oh, okay, I just turned this thing. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Yo, this pig is kind of fast. Right here, definitely in this cave. Yep, right here. Yes! When pigs fly. Now that trophy wasn't too bad. One of the rare trophies in a game requires you to collect all 16 colors of wool. To do this, you're gonna need to dye white wool into all the different colors. And to obtain a dye, sometimes you'll need things like cactus, flowers, or lapis lazuli. And obtaining most of the colors is pretty easy besides two of them. The brown and the gray wool were pretty much unobtainable for me and here's why. The worlds on the PS Vita are super small and mine just didn't generate a jungle. I need a jungle to get cocoa beans so I can make brown dye and then make brown wool, but I don't have one. And the same thing with the gray wool. I need ink sacks from squid, but there's no bodies of water deep enough on this world to spawn squid. So I'm pretty much out of luck with those two colors. Like this map is super small and it has borders. So once you hit the edges, that's it. You can't go any further, but I know a way around this. This is the Minecraft tutorial and somewhere in here is a chest containing all the colors of wool needed for the trophy. If I can just find the chest, then I can get it. And I could have done this from the start, but I wanted to get all the colors of wool legitimately. And these last two just weren't possible in my world. So I resorted to this to get those last two only. Oh, here it is. I found the chest with all the wool. And then grab it. Yes. Rainbow collection, okay. I went back to my world to get the leader of the pack trophy, which you can get by befriending five wolves. You just go up to them and give them bones and eventually they love you. All right, here you are, dog. One. Oh, it took one bone. Leader of the pack. Now these next three trophies are extremely tedious. For the first, I had to place 1,728 cobblestone in a chest. Very simple, just mine my life away until I'm able to get it done. All right, I think we're done mining cobblestone. This was just one of the never ending hallways I had to dig through to get enough cobblestone. Imagine this times four. Once I place it in this chest, I should get the trophy. Chest full of cobblestone. So this guy's offering an emerald for 17 coal. I have 47 right now, so I'm gonna need a lot more before I can get this trophy for trading for 30 emeralds. We're gonna have to gather up a lot of coal, but um, another alternative is to dig them up which I've already done a few, but definitely not 30. So I think if we do some digging plus some trading, I'll be able to get it, but I'm just gonna trade. Now, because Minecraft PS Vita is so bad, the frame rate sucks, textures barely load, the game is pretty much unplayable. I wanted to get through the game ASAP, so I duplicated my coal instead of mindlessly digging for hours on a game that was already hard to play. But because the PS4 version will run better, I won't be duplicating on there. I've got a lot of coal, hopefully you can get the trophy now. Now that glitch can be replicated with iron, gold, diamonds, and a lot of other things in the game as well. But I'm trying to keep it fair and not use it too much to my advantage to make it too easy because I am still playing on hard and you do take quite a bit of damage on this difficulty. I don't want to give myself anything out of the realm of like reality. So just trying to make it as fair as it can be. Like, where's the guy I'm trying to trade with though? All right, here's the guy. He's got a diamond pickaxe for fortune or with fortune one on it. I might, I might want to grab that, but let's uh, trade this first. 
And we got the Haggler. I do want this diamond pickaxe, so I'm gonna buy that. And while I was able to save myself a lot of time digging up coal for that trophy, I still had to do a lot of digging for this one. It required me to travel by minecart to a point at least 500 meters in a single direction from where you start. Minecraft is a game with a variety of terrain, a lot of mountains, ups and downs, so there was no way I was just gonna find a straightaway for 500 meters. So I had to dig a tunnel in order to make one. Now for the rails, I would need 200 iron ingots, 20 gold ingots, and 34 redstone. In total, that's gonna be probably Probably hours of mining to find it so I just duplicated the ones I already had to get it just trying to save myself time on mindless tasks here once you have all the rails you start placing them down then you sit in your minecart and take off yes we got it on a rail now for what I consider to be the most annoying trophy in minecraft you have to explore 17 of 40 biomes a couple things make this very annoying. Number one, there's no way to track how many you've done. And number two, on this PS Vita version of the game, the worlds are so small that you can't even explore all the biomes within one world. This meant I had to create new worlds in order to explore the other biomes. But because I didn't know which ones I was missing, I had to just randomly explore and pray that I ran into some that I never did before. Like, look at this. The world just glitches out and doesn't load in. And it's very annoying. And as you can see by my body language, I was not having a fun time with this trophy. But I just kept creating new worlds and loading into them, exploring exploring randomly in hopes of getting the trophy when this happened. Oh! 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 Oh, thank Jesus. Man, that was so tedious. I think it took me a couple hours for that, but that's okay. After that, I easily got the Sniper Duel Trophy, which is one of the rarest in the game, for killing a skeleton over 50 meters away with a bow and arrow. We got Sniper Duel, let's go. With all that done, there's only two more trophies left for the platinum. I still do have DLC trophies to clean up, but I'm gonna show the PS4 DLC instead of the Vita because the PS4 version just looks better. And after I'm done with this version, I'll be moving on to the PS3 version. But since the trophy lists are exactly the same, I'm not really gonna show anything besides key moments, but it's still a lot of work for me to do. For now, let's focus on this Ender Dragon. Remember, I'm playing on hard and I've never beaten him before on any difficulty. So I had to prepare for this fight in the best way possible. Enchanted diamond weapons and diamond armor. But I know how the Ender Dragon works. I've seen plenty of boss fights before he flies around, which meant I wanted a bow with infinity, which gives me infinite arrows. I spent two days trying to get this enchantment on my bow. The enchantment table would just never give me the enchantment. <laughs> I can't get it. It <laughs> No matter what I do, bro, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing this. And so I resorted to fishing with my rod that had luck of the sea too, which gives you better items. I fished for hours and hours, nothing. I got a few enchanted books, but not the ones I was looking for. The game was absolutely trolling me. And then something crazy happened. <gasps> I got an enchanted bow, but the question is, does it have infinity? Bro! With that, I decided enough was enough. I was gonna fight him without the infinity bow and just use the rest of my weapons instead. In case I die, I slept in a bed by the portal so I can respawn here and grab my stuff quickly, then enter the portal to get a trophy. You go in, and we got the end trophy. One more for the platinum, we just gotta kill this man. And we are done. Now, before I can even damage the dragon, I have to take out these crystals on top of these towers so he doesn't heal. This is partly why I wanted infinity on my bow because I can just use unlimited shots, but I only had like seven on me, so I had to be precise. Ah, look, Steph Curry. Okay, that's two. Three. Four. Yeah, we're gonna climb up, bro. The frames are like five frames a second. With no more hours remaining, I had to climb up the towers and destroy the crystals myself. The most dangerous part of the fight because you can get knocked off to your death. Oh my gosh. Come on. You gotta build up. No! Now the clock was ticking. I have to go back and collect all my stuff before it disappears. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. I can't lose my sword, I can't lose my sword, I can't lose my sword. Where's my stuff, where's my stuff? I died right here, yep, 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 yep. Give me that, give me that, thank you. Give me that. All right, we gotta destroy this. Okay, back down, back down we go. Okay, how many more towers do we have to go through, one more? 
What? 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 How did that just happen? How did that just happen? How did that just happen? I just did that before. Oh my gosh. Luckily, I was able to grab my stuff except for one thing. Where's my diamond pickaxe? I figured it might have dropped at the top of the tower when I blew up, so I went back up to retrieve it. Did I get my diamond pickaxe back? Okay, we gotta go down. Oh, but get out of crouch! No, 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 no. Like, bro, why are you going in third person? Bro, I think I might be screwed. Because all my stuff is up there now. This is bad. This is going... This is really bad. This is really bad. I got an axe. If anything, I have an axe. Oh. After that death, this is what I was left with. I got super lucky that the axe dropped down the tower because I can use this to damage the dragon. If this stood at the top, it would have been game over and I would have lost everything. So I had to make a last ditch effort with a diamond axe and 64 cooked cod to try to get the win and the platinum. I can't get, I can't get back up. I, I literally can't get back up. All I have is this, oh my gosh, this is, this is, this is bad. Uh -huh. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Why is he not dying? You're not taking damage. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm one shot, I'm one shot, I'm one shot, I'm one shot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. I won the one run. Stop doing this. Stop going in third person. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Come on. Come on. Okay. Stupid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we're doing good, we're doing good! Nice. So, do I have to start over? Like... Bro, like, you're spawning me into this? Oh, it made me lose my progress, man. I had more damage on him. I'm learning. He's halfway dead. Halfway dead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm actually gonna win, oh my gosh. Come on, come on! Yes! 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 Oh my gosh, I clutched up. With the Ender Dragon dead, we're about to unlock trophies 50 and 51 out of 629 in this video. Some of which are harder than what you just saw. But let's see this platinum pop. Now we can get the platinum. Here we go. The end! Awarded all trophies! Let's go! The next 94 trophies came from Minecraft PS3 edition. But the trophy list is exactly the same as the Vita, so there's really nothing else for me to show. But I had to go through the entire process of doing everything over again. But it only took me a couple days because I had the experience already. Ender Dragon's about to go down. We're about to get the Minecraft PS3 plat. He's dead. Let's go. Another Minecraft platinum in the bag right here any second. Jump in here, and I believe that should be it. Yup, we got the end. And awarded all trophies, two of three. I said two of three, no, no, no. Two of many Minecraft Platinums to go. Now onto Minecraft PS4 edition. As you can see, I already have the Platinum, but this was back in 2014. Now I only have 35% of the trophies. I've got all these expansion packs that I have to go through. My first goal was to get to the Ender Dragon fight because there's some DLC trophies for me to get there. I wanted to find some diamonds and I ended up coming across this massive cave. This is, bro, this is insane. Look at this. I've never seen anything like this before. What? Yo, th these caves are massive. The cave provided enough materials for me to enter the nether and make a diamond pickaxe. But something scary happened here. Bro, why am I getting attacked? Turns out those piglins don't like for you to break gold in front of their face. If you do, they kill you. I'm not
not going to be able to survive to get my stuff back. And that's because they also kill you if you're not wearing any gold armor. Because I dropped everything I had on me when I died, I didn't have any gold to throw on to protect myself. I have to go in and grab my stuff quickly or else I'm done. And when I went back to get my stuff, I somehow got a trophy. Ooh, shiny. I don't know what that is. Like, what am I supposed to do? Yo, this dude is take they're, they're taking my stuff. Luckily, I was able to get most of my stuff back. Besides some gold that dropped when I died, the piglins ended up taking it for trades, which is why I got that trophy earlier. After dying to an enderman, I went back to get my stuff again. Ate a cooked rabbit and got a trophy for that too. Rabbit season. Then I fought some blazes for the rods and escaped the nether. And so here we are back at the ender dragon fight again with the blaze powder i got from the nether and pearls i got from trading i was able to make it back here and kill the dragon while i was here in the end it was a good time to pick up the elytra which allows you to glide around the world there's also a trophy involving the elytra so i had to pick it up it gets very dangerous here though because you have to bridge across the islands here in order to get to where the elytra spawns and there's endermen always just lurking trying to kill you if i fall off that's it i can never get my stuff back what the Move, move, move. What the heck? Oh my gosh. After the close call, I made it to where you find the elytra, but it was being guarded by this thing called a shulker. They basically shoot at you, and once you're hit by them, it levitates you up in the air. There's a trophy for levitating 50 blocks by the attacks of shulkers, which I have to get, but let's get the elytra first. Oh, baby, diamond leggings. Oh my gosh. Diamond pickaxe on breaking through efficiency four. And let me get this. Thank you. I found a diamond sword with sharpness 4 and looting 3! Oh my gosh! Now that I found all those crazy items, it was time to focus on the 50 blocks levitated trophy from the shulkers. I went to this tower where there's just shulkers everywhere and they shoot at you constantly, raising you high enough to get the trophy. Yes! Great view from up here! Now it's time to respawn the ender dragon for a trophy and also collect some of his breath. To respawn the dragon, I need four crystals. To make the crystals, I need gas tears, glass, and eyes of ender. I already had the eyes of ender from earlier, but the gas tears I didn't. You get these from just killing ghasts in the nether. Once I had everything, I made the crystals and respawn the dragon. Okay, we're about to respawn the ender dragon and get a trophy for that. We also have to grab like some, some of his breath or something for a trophy. So I just placed down these crystals here. Two, three, four. And he's gonna respawn and I'll get a trophy. Respawning. There he is. We get the end again. Wait. Okay, here, this, this. I need to grab this. Okay, I got it. You need a mint. After killing the dragon for like the sixth and final time in this video, I can finally move on. The wither is still waiting for us later on, but first, you need to get a trophy for using an elytra to fly through a one by one gap while moving faster than 40 meters per second. Sounds complicated, I know, but I'm gonna simplify it. I started off by collecting 512 dirt to build a tower. I started building, but left a hole in the middle for me to drop down. Once at the top, all I had to do is drop down into the water so I didn't die and get the trophy. Okay, so let's jump down. I have to activate the elytra. I don't even have the elytra enabled. I was literally gonna jump down. Got the elytra on now. We're gonna just drop down. And I got supersonic. As you'll see, a lot of these Minecraft trophies are extremely tedious. There's one for building a conduit, and this has multiple steps to it. First was to collect eight Nautilus shells. These are extremely rare, and the best way to get them is to kill underwater zombies, which have like an 8% chance of dropping them. Finally got eight Nautilus shells. Okay, now we need a heart of the sea. For that, you just need to find buried treasure. To find the buried treasure, you first need to find a shipwreck, which has a map which leads you to the treasure, and then you can get the heart of the sea. But while looking for a shipwreck, I accidentally got this trophy. Buried treasure was not there. I got Atlantis. Find an underwater ruin. I eventually found a shipwreck with the treasure map, then made my way to the location. Oh, I found it. I got heart of the sea. 
Oh, me gold. Dig up a buried treasure. Once you have the heart of the sea, you can create the conduit, but you can't place it down because you need a certain type of block called prismarine bricks in order to place around it so it can work. The problem is these prismarine bricks are not easy to get. The only way to get them is to mine them from this underwater temple. But as soon as you come anywhere near it, you're hit with mining fatigue, meaning it takes forever to break a single block. And you're also attacked by guardians. The solution is to kill the three elder guardians that apply the mining fatigue to you so they can't put it on you anymore, which I had to do anyways because it's a trophy for slaying just one of them while looking for the elder guardian i got a trophy for staying underwater for two minutes with the help of a potion i got free diver and then i found an elder guardian finally all right we made it in this is the guy i need to kill for the trophy just keep spamming my sword and we got the deep end nice once you're free of mining fatigue, you can then start to collect the bricks and place them down for the conduit. This is the sort of shape you have to place the bricks in. It's very specific, but I did something slightly wrong, so I started breaking it apart, and then I got the trophy. Oh! I got it to work! Mosk Strawman. With the conduit complete, I can stay underwater as long as I want to when I'm near it. So I did a simple trophy for feeding a dolphin. Echolocation. And then stood underwater for 20 minutes to get another trophy. Finally, on my way back home, I saw one of these guys, and I knew I had to kill one of them for a trophy. Yep, I've got a bad feeling about this. Nice. Once I returned home, I unexpectedly came back to a raid. Oh, raid? Are, are, are we being attacked? During raids, they spawn this massive beast, which I have to kill for another trophy. What is this? Why is it like a huge bull? Oh my gosh. Got him! Kill the beast! That's a trophy as well. Now that the village was safe, I can go for a trophy that I was already planning to do. This requires me to bounce 30 blocks upward off a slime block. So I built up really high and then jumped down. That gotta be it. That gotta be it. Yup, trampoline. Now we're gonna take a break from single player trophies and move on to some multiplayer ones. These all require me to do specific tasks within the battle modes of the multiplayer, but these trophies are actually not possible on the Minecraft edition that you might all be playing. I had to purchase an old PS4 version of the game that you can actually unlock these trophies on because the newer one, it's just not possible. And this is actually my third time getting these same multiplayer trophies. I did it on the Vita, the PS3, and now here on the PS4. The easiest method is just to find someone who can play with you in boost because these Servers are absolutely dead, nobody plays these versions anymore. And I did exactly that. Returning to single player meant also returning to the nether because I needed to kill a mob while wearing its own head. The only mob head I had at the time was the wither skeleton, so I used this one to get the trophy. And now look at me. Okay, let's go kill one of these wither skeletons. I can probably just do it with my bow, but he's already chasing me. I need one more of these skulls to spawn the wither. I have two of them. And we get camouflage, so. Did I just get one? Oh, he just dropped one. That's so lucky. Plus the one that I'm wearing that gives us three. That is insanely lucky. The drop rate on those skulls is literally like, what is it, 3%? That's insane. Once back in the overworld, I did a few random trophies. One for throwing a splash potion of poison at a witch. All right, come here, witch. Got him. Taste of your own medicine. Another for placing four sea pickles onto a block. One pickle, two pickles, see pickle four. And the third for leading a caravan of five llamas. Is you ready to pop out another kid? Go crazy. Go crazy. Yes, I got the trophy. At this point, I'm somewhat close to being done with Minecraft PS4. I really want to move on to the other Minecraft games. So we're going to speed up a lot of these trophies and only show really important ones. Okay, so it's days later. I'm back in the nether. We're very close to finishing Minecraft here. My goal in here is to get netherite armor, which means I have to find some nether or what ancient debris first. And while doing a little bit of exploring in the nether, this happened. Hot Taurus destination, let's go. I did not mean to get that just now, okay. And that was for exploring all nether biomes, but I still needed to find ancient debris so I can make the netherite ingots and then the armor. So I stripped mine away. Once that was done, I just needed to create the armor. But there's a problem with this trophy and it's labeled as buggy. Sometimes you'll make the armor and throw it on and it just won't pop. So that's one, two, three, four. So I have full netherite armor. These two are kind of weak because I've been using them up when they're in their diamond forms, but that's okay. Now, once I equip this, boom, 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 and boom. 
I'm not sure what's going on here. My trophy's not popping. Apparently, you have to quit and reload the world, which I tried doing, but it didn't work. The only solution I know for buggy trophies is to do them on the creative mode glitch because i have the netherite armor equipped it just doesn't work so this is creative mode and i do have the glitch enabled right now so once i give myself the armor it it might pop i'm not sure equip it no it's still not working oh okay i reloaded in and now it worked okay we are about to fight the weather but just before that there's still one trophy for dying but like coming back to life with a totem of undying or whatever. So I'm just gonna drown here in the water. And uh, when I actually die, I'll be, I'll be revived and I won't lose any of my stuff or my levels. Boom. So there it is, cheating death. I gotta get out of this water now. And uh, now we can fight the wither. So I have everything I need to fight him. All my tools have been repaired and i have the netherite armor from earlier so we're gonna get a trophy for spawning the wither and then the last trophy is gonna be for killing the wither this seems like a decent spot right here so i'm gonna spawn the wither right here one two three four whoops oh my okay or then place these one two three there it is we got the beginning trophy and now I have to back up. That dude's gonna explode. Okay, so this is the fight. It's gonna shoot these arrows at him. So far, so good. He hasn't hit me once. Just keep shooting arrows at him. Okay, we, we got a good amount of his health down there. I thought this... Oh, okay, I, I just got hit. He's halfway dead. I thought this was gonna be harder, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I did play it. Oh, I gotta hit him with my sword. I did play it on uh, the PS Vita and it wasn't that hard, but I thought this division would be harder. Just jump and hit him. He's almost dead. This has like, been super easy. All right. Well, he's down. And we got the beginning. Minecraft is completely done, but we still have to move on to the next Minecraft games. This video is far from over, but when it is, I'll be looking forward to getting a new platinum card to add to my collection. As you can see, I had all of these cards made for every single platinum trophy that I've ever gotten. On the cards, it shows the picture of the game, the rarity percentage, the day you earned it, the hours taken, and the difficulty out of five stars. These are just some examples. They're really cool. If you wanna order some for yourself, there's a link in the description. Use my code to get 10% off. With 329 out of 629 trophies done, it was time to move on to stage two, Minecraft Story Mode. This would have to be done on the PS3 and the PS4. Now this is a telltale game where you just interact with things around the world and answer to dialogue, and that's pretty much it, it's really easy. Not much to show here because it's a telltale game, so we're just gonna breeze through it. I got the PS3 Platinum and then the PS4 Platinum, which was so much more fun to play on mute since I already played it the first time. And after those was Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. And then came time for Minecraft Dungeons which I've been really looking forward to and then after this is Minecraft Legends. But before that, we have to unlock the 105 trophies on Minecraft Dungeons. This game is a lot different than the previous ones we've been playing and I was having a lot of fun with it already. You start out in the tutorial and get a trophy for completing it. Happy Camper. About half an hour later, I unlocked a trophy for defeating 50 mobs. Ah, wooden sword. I got a trophy. And I unlocked that in something this game calls the tower. Where you rise through floors and take on waves of enemies until you get to the ultimate top. This specific tower had 28 floors and me and my friend just decided to play this right after the tutorial. We didn't know at the time that there were several trophies relating to the tower, like one for beating it on the hardest difficulty. So we were just playing for fun at first and I ended up unlocking a trophy because of it. Fashionable climber. Acquire a melee weapon, ranged weapon, armor, and artifact while climbing the tower okay but making it to the top would not be an easy task oh my gosh i'm gonna yep i died it's all up to you now we're counting on you wait you can revive me i know but i'm getting obliterated here but you're one shot come on bro get the demon slayer challenge <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> okay oh we got two lives left oh my gosh so we both died, but we still had a couple attempts left. We wanted to make it through as many floors as possible because there's also a trophy for clearing 100 total. One of the most fun things about this game is seeing all the enchantments the weapons have. You can rank them up three tiers and there's a trophy for actually doing this. 
Worked like a charm. I got a trophy. We then made it to floor 24, which gave us an opportunity to purchase from the last tower vendor, also unlocking a trophy. Meet and greet. Nice. But floor 25 of 28 wasn't going so well. Oh my gosh. It's all I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I'm literally one shot right now. I'm dead. Crap. Try the tower again anytime. Two bosses defeated. 24 floors completed. We've got more tower trophies to unlock, so we're gonna return to that later when we're better at the game. But for now, let's play through the main story and unlock most of those trophies. You get trophies for completing certain missions, for reaching levels, defeating mobs, and collecting emeralds, which I can use to purchase more equipment. The game is pretty short, so you can make it to the end in just a few hours. And so now me and my friend were taking on the final boss. <laughs> Look at this. All the souls I've saved up. <laughs> All the souls we saved up. Like, Happened, oh, what the heck? Hold on again, again. No, I ran out of souls. I used my souls. Oh my god. What the heck is this? Bro. Oh my gosh. What, heck, what, what is this? This is nuts. I'm on melee him. Okay, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Saved the overworld. Let's go. But we would have to beat the game two more times on harder difficulties for the platinum. While playing through the game a second time, we got a lot of cumulative trophies for things like leveling up and defeating a lot of enemies. And this was all in preparation for the hardest difficulty playthrough later on. You don't get a trophy for beating the game a second time. So I started playing these ancient hunts. My weekly challenge required me to complete 10 of them. And there's actually a trophy for completing 10 weekly challenges anyways. But the reason for me playing this right now is so I can get gold and reroll my enchantment. In the camp, there's this guy you can talk to to reroll the enchantments on your weapons in case you don't like the ones that are currently on yours. It cost me 36 gold to reroll, and the best way to get gold is through the ancient hunts. I ended up getting a trophy for rerolling three enchantments from this guy. I got customized customer. After the ancient hunt, my friend and I started working on the third and hardest difficulty playthrough needed for a trophy. During this, I got two other trophies. More for me. Open 100 treasure chests. Let's go. And here I was AFK because I was munching on some dinner as my friend was playing through this mission on his own. He got down and needed me to revive him, so I teleported to him, got him up, and this happened. Oh, I got, I got life of the party. Revive a down friend 20 times. <laughs> Now that I was on a full stomach, we were ready to take on the final boss again for the trophy. This is the hardest difficulty we would have to beat him on. But things weren't going so well. Oh my gosh! We're about to lose, That's we're about tough. to lose. Okay. No, 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 shut up! We're not gonna lose! We got one life, he's got like a third of his health bar. Ah! I don't wanna do this again, bro, come on. Are you ready, Nick? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, he's almost dead. Yeah, I told you because my thing. I got one shot oh. and I die. Okay, so get ready to dodge his beams first. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Can you, are you reviving? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my god! Arrows, arrows, my watch arrows out, go crazy. He's done, he's done. Let's go! Him, my arrows go crazy, my arrows, arrows go crazy. crossbow. Let's, Let's go. go! We clutched up! Uh. High treason! Apocalypse difficulty complete! Now I am only two trophies away from the platinum, but only have 28 out of 105. To get the rest, I have to purchase this $20 DLC, which sucks. I didn't know I had to do this. I've already had to buy so many versions of Minecraft, but it's all okay. Anything for the video, right? While playing the DLC, I got two easy trophies and then decided to take on this boss, which would give me a trophy if I can beat him. The problem is the difficulty is really hard and I was on my own in this one because my friend didn't purchase the DLC. I'm all by myself, man. My beam is barely doing damage too. He one shot me. He absolutely, he literally just one shot me. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, that just did a lot of damage. Oh, that just did a lot of damage. Spam with crossbow shots. Oh my gosh, you're spawning in these dudes. <laughs> I am, I am, I am as good as dead. This is a crazy fight. He's, bro, he's, he's actually kind of weak. Oh my god. Huh. No, 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 no,
Oh, that was so close. I went through all that mission just to die at the end. I couldn't bring myself to play that again right after that loss, so I went to a different mission instead. Here I got a trophy for sliding a total distance of 500 blocks on ice. Smooth operator. And once I was a little stronger, I went back into the mission to try again. But just before the boss arena, something unexpected happened. Yo, Nick, I don't think it's over for us. What do you mean? I don't think it's over. I think I can still join you. I think I know something. Just invite me. Invite me to your thing. What do you mean you think you found a way to, like, I'm playing DLC that you don't have. Don't worry about it, Nick. Don't question the system. No way you can play. Ah, it's gonna work, bro. It's gonna work. Bro, I, I cracked the system, man. Don't worry about it. Nick. How? <laughs> How? Nick, we're back, Explain. my brother! My brother! Explain, bro! Explain! I'm back. Explain! Don't question the system, bro! Don't question no, the system! No, I actually want to know. Like, can you explain? Nah, only one of us needs to own it. As simple as that? Yep. Oh, well, I'm glad, man. Because I need to I need help with this boss, bro, when we're about to fight him right now. You ready? Oh, wait, shoot. The game's taking me out. Uh, I don't have the DLC. Nick, Nick, I'm glitching out the game. Uh, Bro, you're you're making that up, bro. Is it that crazy? What? No, I never beat this guy. I we need to be, I need we need to beat him for a trophy. Are you ready? All right. Oh, yeah, that's oh him right God. there. Oh my God, bro, where are we supposed to get Go in? in. Uh, you missed your chance. When he puts his hand down, when his hand is stuck in the ground, I think that's when he's most vulnerable. I think. This guy's like Plantera from Terraria. Bro, if I can melee him, like one, what do you think is a safe chance to melee this guy? Never. Cause I don't have any more arrows. All right, right now, right now. Bro, I was crazy. We did crazy okay. just there. I'm at full souls again. I'm gonna beam him. Stuff, good stuff, good stuff. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him. Oh, 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 they spawned these guys in. I forgot. I forgot about this. Yeah, I don't even have any arrows this time. Um, I can kill. Oh my, oh my gosh. Good thing I had a potion. I'm gonna kill the one on you. Is he dead? Yeah. Almost. Hit him once. Oh, I'm, I, I'm down. I'm down. Okay, if you can kill I that guy. With what? My axe? Like I'm melee him? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Watch out now, these roots are gonna come out the ground and those do damage, so. If I can melee him, I'll pull you. I died. Oh my gosh. Is he safe? It might be. Let's go stick it. I gotta keep moving. I'm forgetting about those things that are sprouting out the ground. He's low, come on! Oh yeah, he's done, he's done, he's done, he's done, he's done. Yes! Oh, with the help of my friend Web Striker, we were able to beat the boss! Abomination domination! Whoa. Because of that fight, I was able to finally fully upgrade my armor to get the maxed out and geared up trophy. Okay, now I can just put protection three on this and get maxed out and geared up. One more trophy for the platinum, but a lot of DLC to go. But I didn't want to unlock the platinum before doing the rest of the DLC. So we went into this boss fight, which would give us a trophy for completing it as well. But he was pretty easy. He's done. Wretched Wraith down. Lone Champion. The mission reward was an ice wand, which I also needed for a trophy. I have to kill five enemies at once with a single use. Now this thing only stuns enemies, it doesn't actually kill them, so we had to weaken them first and then try to kill them afterwards. I got it! Let's go! And that was trophy number 35 of 105 in this game. A lot of the others are just for completing specific missions, using certain weapons in certain ways, and very specific trophies. So, we're gonna speed through all of these for the sake of this video not being two hours long, and from here on out, show only the most important ones. And then we can move on to the last game of the video, Minecraft Legends, which is an entirely different take on the Minecraft formula. Remember earlier when me and my friend went for the tower run and we died? Well, it was time to get those tower trophies now. Our original attempt was was on the easiest difficulty and we didn't make it to the top so i wasn't sure how we we're gonna get the trophy for beating this on the hardest difficulty nevertheless we gave it a shot and this is how our first attempt went bro i'm one shot we only got through six of 21 floors so we started again from floor one and gave it another shot but floor seven still seemed impossible like this is impossible man like i don't i don't know what we're supposed to do but on the next attempt my friend found a way to melt through the ghast's health bar he's almost dead I got him, but I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows. I'm out of arrows though. Now all this left was the evoker. We just had to be very careful of his attacks and keep moving while trying to deal damage at the same time. He's stuck in a corner. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, careful, careful, ah, careful. Yes. Careful, careful. Oh. These guys can still kill us. I, I, I'm down, I'm down. You can kill him, you can kill him. I, I used my potion just in case, bro. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Let's go. Finally. Oh
That was so tough, man. And we thought that would be the biggest hurdle of the tower run. Well, it wasn't. Because this next boss floor had something else in store. We might be cooked. Shut up. No, we can't say that while, while we're in the fight. I, I got one shot. Bro, how did you die? It was the, the uh, illusioners. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. We have one more chance? Bro, let's go. Let's go. Pay attention to the ground and just don't get hit by the thing. Just stay on the run always. Never stop running. Once you see he's done that one attack. Uh huh? I got one shot. Ah, oh, 14 floors completed. We somehow made it back, but we were still struggling. Yep. That was so hard, man. That was so freaking hard, bro. Oh. We had to replay the floor so many times that I ended up unlocking this trophy during our ascent. Oh, I got a trophy. So many stairs. That's for... 100 tower floors, okay. I didn't think we'd be able to do it with just the two of us, so I invited a subscriber to help us out. But will this be enough to put us over the edge? You ready? As ready as we can oh. be. No! Mo, stay up, stay up. I'm going for the rest, I'm going for the rest. No! Oh my God, well, looks like I'll be able to crush this. Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm going for the rest, I'm going for the rest. Ah, oh, I'm the main character, bro. Good stuff! I'm the main character, let's go! I'm the GOAT, I'm the GOAT, I won't fail, I won't fail, I won't fail! No! Bro, we can't die, we can't die, we can't die. We literally cannot die. Yeah, bro, you just watch out, you're gonna have to worry about me a little bit, just just kill him. There we go. Yes! Oh let's go! God. Oh, oh, let's my go! God. oh my gosh! Yes! But this excitement was short-lived because we died just two floors later. I'm down. I'm down. I got hit with fire. This might be it. What do I have to fight with, bro? Nick, what are we doing? <laughs> Cryptic Craig, just me. No! Bro, what were we supposed to do? Oh my gosh, man. Even the three of us were not sufficient enough to get this done. Luckily, the tower resets every week, giving new floor layouts, new enemies, everything. I'd wait for it to reset and then try it again on my own, and this next tower was so much easier. Okay, here we go. We're about to fight the final boss. Ender Scent. Okay. Okay, it's one of these. If I can just take out the Evoker. This is it. This is it. This is it. I'm by myself. I died. After that death, I figured it was time to recruit my teammates from before once again for this tower. Yo, final <laughs> floor. Focus up. Focus up. I know. You make sure I'm aiming. Yo, what? good stuff. Yo. I, I told, told you who the main character who the main character yeah, massive damage you, build is on awesome. the main character let's go we got this we got oh bro, the first the giant dude's almost dead there's a piece GG. of bread if anyone needs it huh no i'm chilling bro i need it oh i need yeah, it I yes <laughs> yes finally power power finally man sheesh oh and I got Indomitable, so I got both of the trophies. Now that the hardest trophy in this game was done, it was time to get the Platinum. I accidentally unlocked the Platinum before the rest of the DLC. And you're gonna hear my reaction to it, because I was very upset. The last trophy was for using artifacts to summon the Wolf, Llama, and Iron Golem at least once each. I had already summoned the Llama and the Wolf, but never the Iron Golem. But for some reason, when I summoned a Llama again, the Platinum popped. Wait, what is this? A friend in need? No! No! Bro, what the heck? I never once screamed no after getting a platinum. And while Minecraft Dungeons was fun, I was just glad to be done with it. I think it took up the most time out of all the games. But let's move on to Legends now, the final one of the video. This is a strategy game where you build bases, collect resources, and attack other bases. They started me out in the tutorial, and I got a trophy for completing this. Impressive gifts. From there, I started playing campaign, which I would have to play two times for the platinum. And as I was raiding a base here, I got a trophy for killing 1,000 piglins. No time for swine. And right after that, I destroyed the base and got a trophy for that too. Did I get it? With light comes hope. Shortly after, as I was exploring, I got a trophy for spending two minutes buffed by speed wheat. You basically run into the wheat and you get a speed boost. Riding the grain train. Next, I destroyed a base in under seven minutes and got a trophy for that. Bulldozer. And then it was time to forge alliances with the skeletons, zombies, and creepers. Unlike all the other Minecraft games, in this one, you can actually have them on your side. You help them fight off the piglins and they become your friends after. I did this with the three factions and got those trophies. I then went out in the open world to search for three separate mounts I would need to ride for a trophy. One of them called the Brilliant Beetle, I can use to glide off a high mountain for 30 seconds and get a trophy for that. Yeah, this thing could really climb. Okay, we we go to the top and then 
We jump off and we just glide. Oh, okay. We got it. We. As I was looking for the last mount, I ended up finding five of these chests throughout the world, which got me a trophy as well. Resource reinforcements. Nice. And then I found the last mount. Is this it right here? Yes. I found it. Swap mount. And we get riding in style. Throughout the world, there's these golem-like dudes called firsts, and there's four of them total in the game. They help you out a lot in combat, and there's a trophy for awakening all four of them. This was the last one. Wow, I need 125 iron. So after collecting some, I went back. All-star cast. Welcome to the team, buddy. The new addition might have been just enough to put me over the edge with this boss fight I was struggling on. There are four of them throughout the game, and this was the first. This guy's called the Beast, and you have to take him down. He has a massive amount of health. But right here, we had him low. Yes, he's getting melted. He's getting melted. He's on seven, six. He's on two percent, bro. Come on. Finish him. Yes. He's down. Finally. That dude was such a tank. Became the hunted. The other three bosses weren't much different. So once I beat them, I also beat the game. So I moved on to a multiplayer trophy that was a lot harder than it should have been. You have to kill another player with your sword in versus mode. I thought you could just create a private match and then kill your friend, but that's not going to work. I needed a full lobby of real people to do this with. As of recording, this game is four months old and I couldn't find a single person, let alone fill up an entire lobby. Luckily, this game has crossplay. So once I enabled it, I started to get matched with Xbox players as well. That was enough to get me to find a lobby. <gasps> Wait, who is this? Oh, I, I got a full lobby. I got a full lobby. Now I just need to kill somebody, bro, with my sword. Okay, I have to kill somebody immediately. I'm just running straight to the other uh, base to attack somebody and get a, get a kill with my sword. Of course, someone just left the game. Oh, that, that, that guy's AFK right there. He's AFK. Oh my gosh, I'm going to catch him lacking. Look, 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 look. Die, die, die. Come on, get him. Yes! The way of the sword! Ooh, this game is so dead and it just came out. That was harder than it should have been. After a few more basic co-op trophies, it was time to beat the game's campaign on the hardest difficulty. This turned out to be the most stressful trophy in this game, but not because of the difficulty itself. More so because this game is unplayable and crashes constantly. I would start up my legendary mode playthrough, and about an hour and a half into it, the game would crash and my save file would get corrupted. This happened multiple times. I looked for solutions online, but there weren't many. From the ones that I tried, none of them worked. I tried one last thing that I was able to think of. It required me to buy the game over on Steam, enable crossplay, so I can then invite my PS5 account from the PC. And since the game would technically be running on the PC, maybe it wouldn't crash and corrupt my save file. Well, it worked. And it was the only way I was able to get around this hurdle. So I fought the final boss, killed him, and finally got it done. Yes! This broken game sucks! It sucks! <laughs> I can't believe that just worked. But what didn't work was the PS5 version of the game. I still needed to go through that as well. Auto popping the trophies was not available for this game for some reason, which meant everything I just did, I had to do it once more. But before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to people who helped me with this video. Thank you, Shaw Alfie, Ace, Patty, and Rugby Lover. And of course, my friends that helped as well. This video would not be possible without all of you. They helped me boost some of the trophies on these unplayable games. The PS5 version didn't have the issue where your save file gets corrupted, but it might have had something worse 15 minute loading screens so i did all the trophies over again and then got to the last one for the platinum it required me to defeat an opponent with less than 10 percent of your hq's health remaining in versus mode on the ps4 version this was easy i can start up a private match by myself switch teams and get the trophy easily but on the ps5 version when you switch teams you cannot move and the world does not load in I tried multiple times, it never worked. The only potential solution was to actually play with a friend in a private match so I didn't have to do the switching teams. And so we did that. We both let our bases take damage from the mobs, but our health had to stay within a 10% margin so I could get the trophy. We waited 30 minutes for the game to load in. If we somehow mess up, we have to wait through these loading screens again. This is the last trophy of 629 in this video. I really don't wanna have to wait through this again. My health was the blue and his was the orange. If he accidentally wins, we fail. I just want to stay like within 10, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm feeling a little too low. Okay, it's closing the gap a little bit. 
Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, because look, look, look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I gotta kill, I gotta kill mine, I gotta kill mine. I gotta kill mine, I gotta kill mine, I gotta kill mine. Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. We just gotta wait. and a half oh i want to cry i want to cry i get to never play any minecraft again and with that i now have every minecraft trophy of all time